Well, hello, friends and followers. So here's a little transmitter test of the FT-102. This is supposed to be a 150 watt radio. I'm gonna get about 100 watts out of it. Right now, just uh, messing around. It probably needs neutralized, and I don't think the finals I have in this thing are, two of them are new, but I don't think they're matched. So I, I, I don't know, could, could need neutralized. Anyway, I'm, I'm showing about 100 watts on this thing. So I'll show you how that works. So MOX is how you tune this thing. You press the MOX key, you put it in tune, and away you go. You can see a little bit of power. I'm also looking at, at KFS in San Francisco, and I can see that I'm making some headway, at least going, how far is that? 400 miles, 500 miles, I don't know. I'm 40 meters at night here. So plate current, output, that's only about five watts there, which is amazing. Anyway, I can increase the drive here. Or can I? Oh yeah, looks like my pre-selector was goofed up here. Decrease the drive. Wow, there we go. So I can get about 100 watts out of it. Nope, maybe 90 watts, that's about it. On 40 meters, that's about it. I wonder if my power output's accurate. Anyway, so that's something, so it's working. I still gotta do some work on the transmitter here, but it's working. So to tune one of these things up then, you have drive, you have loading. It, it likes to have high loading. I'm not sure why, but it likes very high loading. If it doesn't have that, it won't it won't work well at all. So, and loading in this thing is really kind of uh, strange. So, pre-select to pick that first. So I'm gonna go to low drive here. Transmit and pre-select. There's a plate current there, a little bit of drive. Plate current, you wanna pick this for some Plate. And there's some power coming out right there. Dip it a bit with the plate here. And it's got kind of a broad dip to it. That's about it. Punch it. About 90 watts out. Lots of plate current. Anyway, that's uh that is 40 meters. Let's go to 80. There's 80, 80. I'm not sure well how do how this thing will do an 80, but anyway. There's AM people in there, right about there. Nobody there to worry about. So get it like that. We'll go to set there. And no drive. Let's give it some a little bit of drive. Try and peek it. A little more drive, try and peek it. There we go. It seems a lot more generous on uh, 80 meters. Anyway, here's 80. So what I wanna do now is just get this thing down to a low SWR on 80. That's pretty good like that. Let's do a set. Let's give it some juice. Read. Okay, so I don't have a bad SWR on 80. It's not too bad. Let's decrease it a bit more. Okay, now we're on 80, we're cruising. Let's see now how our power comes up. 200 watt scale. Let's hit it. Drive down. All right. Let's give it some drive. Did I peek this? I don't think I did. Let's get some plate going on here. But the plate's pretty broad on this thing. It's weird. All right, so loading. Whoa, look at that. It seems unstable, huh? It seems really unstable. Whoa. 200 watts on this thing? I don't doubt that. 
Seems like the finals are whacked in this thing. It's unstable. I don't know. Let's see. Loading down. I usually take loading all the way down on these things. Um, let's transmit. Drive is down. Plate current's down. Dip the plate if I can. It's probably just putting out crud. Well, that, that peaks really nice, actually. All right, so if this thing did work, how would it do? Give it some more load. More load. Yeah, the load kind of goes through a weird little cycle here where it just doesn't work right. Could be instability from the finals again. All right, so 80 is kind of a wash on this thing. Not sure why it does that. Probably the finals need to be neutralized again. Um, let's try 20 meters. Let's see what that does. 20. See what happens here. Drive is down. A little bit of drive. Peak this thing up. A little bit of a peak. There's some power. Let's try and get this thing down. NSWR. It's not going to go down like that. Or that. So I'm kind of not doing so good at syncing this SWR here. I don't know this tuner really. I haven't used it really. There we go. Now we got it sunk down. All right. Let's try some power. 200 watts. How's the SWR in this thing anyway? Let's see. Give it some drive. That's set. Read, it's way down. Okay, good. 200 watts. So on 20 meters, eh. 30 watts, it's not doing so well. Let's try and load it some more. Dip it. Load it. Nope, doesn't like that. Dip it. Okay, let's drive it, let's peak it, drive it. Oh yeah, it'll go. So in 20, this thing will, this thing will run hard. It'll run really hard. Of course, I'm killing the finals. So at 20, maybe I'm getting 120 watts or something. What if I nail it? What do we get when I nail it? watts. I thought I had some more out of it, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. Just wonder how stable this thing is. Okay. Okay, that's 20. It does have some power. Ah, oh, there's 15 meters. Set. 15. Drive down. Let's take loading down. Drive. Peak it. A little more. All right, time to get the power down. SWR down to nothing. Here we go, come on. All right, there's our SWR down real low on 15. 
that's pretty good. Let's read the power output. Oh, there's 20, 10 watts. Let's give it some load. Oh, that one really goes. Let's see here. Not doing this right, am I? Okay. Not going quick enough. Okay, well, it doesn't do its 150 like I hoped it would, but it's working. It's cooking along. That leaves 10 meters, right? 10 meters. Let's try that one out. See what happens here. Okay, it's got some power. Let's make that go to zero, SWR. Okay, there's very little SWR on 10. Let's try and run it this way now. Man, I'm pegged. All right, so I'm killing the finals. Let's give it some drive. Get some power out of it. There's some power out. Load it. Back it off. I always find that at least on tempos, they don't like a lot of loading on 10. All right, try it like that. Drive down. Let's uh, nail it now. Let's see, let's peak this thing a little bit. Okay, good, let's hit it real hard, boom. So it's only doing how much? 40 watts on 10. It's not impressive, but hey, it's not too impressive, but it's working. All right, so I would say to get full power out of this thing, it's gonna need some work, but it's basically functioning at least for tuning, so. And maybe tune mode has less power than than uh, CW mode. That is something to try. I guess I can put a key in here and see if I can get more power out of it. Okay, anyway, that's my test of the uh, tuning of the FT-102. Um, it works. Probably needs more work, but the radio is probably usable now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.